Hello everyone, good evening. Welcome to the alto rehearsal here for Zadok the Priests. Oh, such a great piece. We've just been learning the soprano parts over on another broadcast and I see many people have just jumped across. Bless you all. Some of you, this will be your third time singing with me today. And just thank you everyone for being here. And I want to say a special hello and uh, I believe the term is a shout out to anyone who's joining us for the first time tonight. Any altos who are coming to join us on Monday, either in person or online. And this is your first time at home choir. Welcome. My name's Ben. It's my huge pleasure and privilege to run this YouTube channel. And uh, I hope you enjoy the process of learning with us tonight. Just to let you know, we will have the score on screen. Let me show you what that will look like. Uh, now, don't worry about this. The, the notes are all teeny tiny because it's just the instrumental part. We don't need to worry about that. But when you come in, you can see here, I've made sure it's nice and big for everyone to be able to follow along. Uh, but if you prefer, then do please grab the PDF, which is on that St. George's website. And you can follow along if you want to print it out or put it on an iPad and so on. And we'll be singing along with the choir of yours truly. Uh, Multi-tracked all the parts. I have to say, I am a bass. Many of you know that, those of you who are regular attendees to home choir know that bass is my preferred uh, uh, register when I'm singing with others but alto is is my I just love singing alto I, I love singing that that range of my voice and so uh, I had particular fun recording all of these parts now let me say hello to all of you and we've got uh, loads and loads of people joining us as we speak and so I might give everyone a couple of minutes rather than start on the exact dot of 7.15 because a few people might just sneak in at the back and you are all very, very welcome. If you are joining us for the first time, uh, then do consider popping up in the live chat, which you can see here on the left of the screen. You'll notice lots and lots and lots of lovely people chatting away, lots of emojis, a very, very friendly community. I think genuinely one of the friendliest communities on YouTube, um, given that YouTube can sometimes be a rather nasty place. We have lovely, lovely choristers who really enjoy this lovely channel. So let me welcome everyone who's chatting at the moment. Of course, many more people watching later on. And if you are one of those, please do enjoy. Um, feel free to skip ahead to when the rehearsal starts. Basically, this window will disappear and then we are off. But let me welcome everyone who's chatting. Hello again, Alison. Hello, Bex. Hello, Carolyn. Hello, Christine. Hello, Emma. Hello, Fiona. Hello, Epi. Hello, Irina. Hello, Jackie. Hello, Jane. Hello, Jill. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Kit Kat. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Linda. Hello to Nikki and to all of you. And if you are here from a choir uh, coming to the performance on Monday and you'd like me to say hello to you or any of your fellow choristers, please pop up in the chat and as we're warming up, I'll say hello to all of you. But it's very, very exciting to be working on this piece. As I was saying to the Sopranos, one of my friends said, uh, hang on, you're recording, Z you're teaching Zadok the Priest Friday night, two and a half hours and Saturday. Are you mad? And you're going to be exhausted. I said, yeah, but it's the kind of thing that conductors dream of. Four and a half hours of rehearsing Handel. Honestly, it, it, it's just an absolute joy. And I think you'll agree once we start. So those of you watching uh, for the first time, as I've said, my name's Ben. This is Home Choir. Everything on Home Choir is completely free. And if you'd like to join in with the fun after this broadcast, feel free to subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. It's that red button underneath the window here. It's all free. And we do broadcast several times a week. We sing classical music, but we also do folk songs. We sing music hall. We sing funny songs. We sing silly songs. We do sacred songs on a Sunday morning. Uh, we do music lectures, appreciation, all sorts of stuff. It's all free. And we'd love to have you come and join us. Just click subscribe. And that's it. You're done. Now, I think we should crack on because it's past 7.15 and I am a former teacher, so I do like to start on time. So if you'll uh, allow me, we're going to wave our fingers at the screen and make the noise, which means we start the show. Here we go. And uh, so just as I glance at the comments, hello, Maisie. Lovely to have you with us tonight. And a big shout out in the comments to the Nightingale Valley Singers in Brissington. Hello, everyone. Hope you're all very well. And uh, just quickly glance, if there's anyone else, then do please uh, let us know and we'll say hello to you. So everyone, we're going to warm up, then we're going to get started on Zadok. Um, score, as I said, will be on screen. Just to warn you, Altos, this will be longer than an hour because, well, you've already, I'm sure, had a quick glance at the score. Uh, it's split alto all the way through. And although there are some bits that are the same, it is actually two separate parts. So we've basically got to learn Zadok the Priest twice, once for first alto, once for second alto. Um, so just 
bear with us as we go. And this means that you'll be prepared for whichever part you wish to sing on Monday. Um, so we'll start off with a quick warm up and we'll just roll our heads around everyone, stretching these neck muscles out and being very, very nice to ourselves. It is, after all, Friday night and you're giving up your time to come along and learn this wonderful, wonderful piece ahead of singing it in Bristol Cathedral with... I believe nearly 700 people in person and many hundreds more watching along and singing along from all over the world as we have here tonight in the broadcast. So take a nice deep breath and sigh. And again, deep breath. And a bigger sigh. And one more. Gather up all of your breath. It's, it's Friday night, folks. So a big sigh. Get rid of the week. weekend just around the corner just the small matter of some marvelous handle to learn let's start here altos we're just going to hum this note and uh, we're going to go up a third and down again nice deep breath and hum with me here we go Let's just do a couple of little shapes. So it's with me, please, Altos, and fabulous. I don't think we have to sing any higher than that. Mr. Handel has been rather kind, I think, for uh, to the Altos. And just glancing at the score, I'm just going to make sure, just in case someone catches me out later on, but I think the highest note we've got to sing is a C, which is very nice. In fact, it might even be a B. Marvellous. Well, I think we can get started. Now, Zadok the Priest, of course, is an iconic work. It is, it's been associated with coronations since uh, Handel wrote it for the coronation of George I, who actually had been his boss in a previous incarnation. He hadn't left under the best of terms. Well, basically, he'd, he'd snuck off. He'd, he'd, George I was the, uh, uh, was the elector of Hanover, where Handel was. And Handel said, I'd like to go over to England for a visit. Can I have a leave of absence? And George said, yes, but make sure you come back. And I went, yes, of course I will. Of course I will. Off he went to England and never returned thinking he got away with it. And then, of course, when George became king, a little bit awkward. So he wrote all sorts of lovely music to, uh, I think, get back into his good books. It worked. It worked. So, But Zadok the Priest is one of four coronation anthems. Now, when we are at Bristol Cathedral, either in person or online on Monday, we will rehearse Zadok the Priest from 1.30pm to 2.30. Then there will be some general milling around and the brass band, City of Bristol Brass, wonderful group, will play some uh, some lovely gentle music. Then at three o'clock on the dot, we will sing Zadok the Priest for the first time. There will then be some short performances of the other coronation anthems. There are three others and a piece that's been written for this coronation by the wonderful Joanna Forbes the Strange. And then we'll sing Zadok again. The entire performance will last around 45 to 50 minutes and you will need to stand throughout. Just bear that in mind, everyone, just before uh, you set up. Wear comfortable shoes and also bear in mind that it's going to be streamed live to the world. Uh, there should be news cameras there as well. So just make sure you you know, you, you, you dress appropriately for what's going to be a brilliant and celebratory occasion. Now, the opening of Zadok is fabulous. We'll listen to it in a minute when we sing through, but we're going to look at your first entry here. And we'll start off, let's build up rather than start at the top down. Let's start with second alto. And you get this wonderful, wonderful build up, which finishes with these two bars. <laughs> This, this part of this build up leading you to a big, big chord. And you'll note there, second altos is here. And we sing. What I did there is I breathed in all the places that I don't want you to breathe later on. So you can consider that a little bit of an exercise as what not to do. But first, let's look at the notes. First of all, 
Zadok the priest. Sing with me, please. Let's do A, two, three, four. Zadok the priest. Lovely, nice, big, round mouth sound. Zadok the priest, if you can roll your R's. If you can't, just make it a nice, strong sound anyway. And then carrying on. And Nathan the prophet. With me, please. Two, three. And Nathan the prophet. Excellent. Then it's a leap of a fourth, which is a little bit higher than you're expecting. Now, what I'm going to say before we sing it... Can you please mark in after profit to take a huge breath? Huge. Okay? Um, because you need to be able to sing all the way through anointed Solomon King without taking a breath, ideally. Okay? So take a deep breath and we sing anointed. Ready? Three, four. Anointed Solomon King. Fabulous. Fab. You list everyone. Let's sing it with the choir. That is to say, with the version I recorded some time ago, oddly enough, in 2020, uh, when we started this mad endeavour of singing online. So let's take it back a little bit. I need to mute that line because that is the soprano line. We don't want that. So let me just check we're in the right place. Bear with me a second, everyone. <sighs> Pardon me. Right. So... Two bars. One, two, three, four. Sit on the breeze and live on the prophet anointed stuff. Now, of course, the alto one follows the same words, the same rhythm, the same dynamic, which is to say loud. It's all very, very big and very joyful and joyous. But we start a third higher here, alto one. And so we sing three, four. Most of that is really quite straightforward. It moves by step. Say, talk the priest. Oops, excuse me. Say, talk the priest. And Nathan the prophet anointed. Now, this next one will catch you out if you're not careful. It goes all the way down to the E. Solomon King. So, can we just sing anointed, please? Here on screen, just to the left. Three, four. Solomon King. Fabulous. Let's take that uh, from the start of where you come in. And let's go from the same place. So you'll notice their altos. I'm just going to sneak the, the bass and tenors are a little bit loud. Huh, so what's new? So I'm just going to sneak them down a little bit. This is after all. There ain't no party like an alto party, as they say. Let's take it from a few bars in. Two bars. You'll notice there. One, two, three, four. Sit on the priest and Ha, 
absolutely fabulous. Really, really good fun. Just remember the whole thing is there's no subtlety to it at all. It's just to create this incredible wall of sound. And um, the first time we sing that, in, even in rehearsal, it's going to be extraordinarily emotional and powerful. And if you're anything like me, all the hair will be standing up on the back of your neck and it's going to be one of those experiences we all remember forever. Now, going on forever and ever and ever. Let's go on to the second movement, which is called And All the People Rejoiced. And I need everyone, please, regardless of voice part, to please um, draw a smiley face at the beginning of this one because I know what singers are like. I am one. I've worked with them for 35 years. I've been, I've been waving my hands in front of people um, on and off. And um, the problem is when people concentrate and when the pressure's on, first thing to go is the happy face. And all the people rejoiced. I was rehearsing the Hallelujah Chorus the other day. And then people went, Hallelujah, with a face like a wet Wednesday. We've got to be smiling all the way through. Okay, so big smiles here. Let's look at the alto two part. Okay, the lower line here on the left. And we start here on an F sharp and we sing. And all the people Now, I know what you're saying. You're saying, but that's not what's written. What's written is joist. Handel's original score, uh, that's what's written, but the editorial decision is to make it to match the accompaniment so it is joist. Ya da 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 da. So it's a dot and a little mark if you want to write the note in, and we're dotting that rhythm. Listen to it again. Two, three. Very nice. And remember, joist is the important word there. Rejoiced. And a little bit of bouncing around is just a little bit of decoration. Let's sing it together, please. Alto two. One, two, three. And all the people rejoiced. Nice and lively and, uh, and bouncy. Now, we have a two, three, one, two, rest. That happens quite a lot. This, this is sort of a pattern. So, rejoiced. Two, three, one, two, rejoiced. One, two, rejoiced. Leaning, of course, on the joy. All right, sing those two rejoices for me, please. So, from the last note here, just on screen, starting there. After two, one, two, rejoiced. And one, two, rejoiced. Lovely. Now, from that same note, and all the people rejoiced. Similar sort of pattern, but just just watch out here. Climbing, uh, coming down the scale. So and all the and then same note. People re. Then onto the next line, we go up a fourth. So we started there. And all the people rejoiced. So it's a third down and a fourth up, and then joyced. Sing that for me. Two, three, joyced. Coming back to that note, like Mozart. Okay, so from joyced to three, joyced. Lovely. So let's go back to the two bars leading into that. And all the people, if you're following along on the PDF, it is the bottom of the first page of the movement, last two bars, alto two. One, two, three. And all the people rejoiced. Lovely. Don't forget to smile. Then we have a two, three, one, two. Rejoiced. Leaning joist as you sing it. Okay, so that's the two bars for B after two. One, two. Rejoiced. Excellent. Now we're at letter B. Handle is shifting the harmony underneath us, building up the anticipation and the excitement. So we then sing one, two, rejoiced, and one, two, rejoiced, and one, two, rejoiced, and one, two, rejoiced. Nice straightforward part, just rejoice on E, two of those, and then two of them on F sharp, and again, oops, excuse me, wrong, wrong button. So let's go back to letter B, please. The two on letter E, so this is the top of page 17, last bar, alto two, right there in the middle. Oh, one, two, rejoiced, and one, two, rejoiced, and one, two, rejoiced, and one, two, rejoiced. And then we're going to sing, and all the people rejoiced. It's a 
really, really nice line because that A, well, I, I call it the Goldilocks zone for altos. It's right in the middle of your powerful zone. It's not too high. It's not too low. It's just right. So really grow through it. Listen to that again from And All The People. Uh, this is the top line of page 18, third bar. One, two, three. Okay, let's sing together, please. From And All The One, Two, Three. And all the people rejoiced. Again, growing through. The people rejoiced. So we've got some, uh, some direction to it. And then on to the last system. We've just sung an A there, so we need to, uh, sorry, F sharp. So we now need to drop down a tone and we sing one, two, rejoiced. And one, two, rejoiced. And said. And we're slowing down on the and said. It's got an adagio above, so that just means watch the conductor. Okay, if in doubt, Keep a lookout for yours truly. I'll be waving my hands around and apparently I'm going to be on screens around the cathedral. I mean, goodness me. They are really throwing everything at this. So let us sing Alto 2 from And All The People, starting there, and then we'll have a look at Alto 1 and then we can get cracking on God Save The King, which is the big bit. Okay, so let me just scroll this through. Uh, Okay, here we go. So, alto two. Nice and loud. There's that note. And. And all the people rejoiced. Two, three, one, two. Rejoiced. Rejoiced. And all the people rejoiced. Two, three, one, two. One, two, rejoiced. One, two, rejoiced. One, two, rejoiced. And all the people rejoiced. One, two, rejoiced. And one, two, rejoiced. And said. Fabulous. Fabulous. That alto one was a little bit on the loud side. Apologies for that. I'll see what I can do when we sing that through later on. But let's have a look at alto one, shall we? Back to the beginning of this marvellous movement. Same words, often the same rhythm, but as you can hear, quite a lot of alto one is about holding the A whilst everyone else is moving around, creating that marvellous shimmering texture. So... It really is just like a trumpet line, isn't it? We sing from the top, two, three... and really push behind that note, push it into the corner. As I'm fond of saying to uh, Choir of the Earth and Home Choir, both of which are online choirs, you know, you might be recording for something like this, uh, and might recording for a project, and you might be in a little room, just like I'm in here. I mean, it's a broom cupboard, it really is. Um, but you sing for the acoustic you're going to be in. So something like... And all the people rejoiced. So it really echoes throughout the cathedral. Once more with me from the top, please, alto one. One, two, three. And all the people rejoiced. Fabulous. Then we have the same rests. Two, three, one, two. Rejoiced. Three, one, two. Rejoiced. Leaning on the joy each time. And then we sing. And all the people rejoiced. I think that is the highest note that we've got to sing today, a C natural. Listen to it again, back to and all the people. And let me just find the place on the score for those following on paper. It's the bottom of the first page of the movement, last two bars, alto one. So it is one, two, three. And all the people rejoiced. So same again, we're dotting that rhythm and just watch out for the tied note. People rejoiced, joyced. Those two notes there on joyce, they are tied together with that little curved line. That means they are effectively one note, one and a half beats. Joyced. Don't get to smile as well. Okay, so then carrying on, we have two, three, one, two. 
Okay, we finished on a B, so it's two, three, one, two. Rejoiced! And that leads us to letter B, and we sing. Rejoiced! Three, one, two. Rejoiced! Let's sing that together from letter B. Oddly enough, on a B, after two. One, two. Rejoiced! Three, one, two. Rejoiced! Three, one, two. Now, Handel's now taking us into the minor briefly. Two, three, one, two. Okay, so let's sing that together. Rejoice there. This is the uh, last two notes on page 17 on the bottom line. And it's a fourth. Just be careful of it. Ready? One, two. Rejoice. Three, one, two. Rejoice. Now that's A sharp there. Should be nice and bright because it's the third of the chord leading us here. Rejoice. So make sure you make that nice and bright. And then carrying on, starting on that B, and you can see already, this is just like at the beginning where we were on that A, that powerful note whilst everyone else is moving around. So we sing, and all the people rejoiced. Okay, you're a trumpet line. After three, one, two, three. And all the people rejoiced. Excellent. Growing through, as I've said, singing into the cathedral space. Two, three, one, two, rejoice! Three, one, two, rejoice! And then finally, we move off the A, but not far. And sad. And just watch out, just as with alto two, rejoiced and said we'll have a nice grandiose end to that second movement and just make sure you're watching me like hawks let's go back to the beginning of this lovely second movement for alto one i might even sing along with you at this point altos i mean it's just such a great part it really is so just let me find the start of it, it should be here just let me check yes that is it okay so and all the people. So starting on the F sharp, I'm going to give myself a bit of an acoustic. Why not? Nice deep breath. And... And all the people rejoiced. Two, three, one, two. Rejoiced. Rejoiced. And all the people rejoiced. Two, three, one, two. Rejoiced. Rejoiced, 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 and all the people rejoiced, 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 and What did they say? We'll find out after these messages. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Just going to open the curtain as it's uh, the sun's sneaking down, but we've still got a, a few, a, a half an hour or so maybe of daylight to enjoy. I might sneak my light on here as well, just in case. Experience dictates is as if the sun goes down, whilst I just end up looking like Gollum in the cave. So everyone, use this opportunity to grab a bit of refreshment, a bit of uh, hydration. Cheers. And we've got lots and lots of lovely people online, over 109 people watching at the moment. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for coming along. Hope you're enjoying the rehearsal. Uh, this is Zadok the Priest. My name's Ben. This is Home Choir. And we should get started with God Save the King. Now, we have split parts here. And again, a lot of this... Uh, there is there is a fair bit, actually, that's, um, that is duplicated. But again, it's two separate parts. So let's crack on. Let's do... Ooh, let's do second alto first and and first alto second. First shall be last and the last shall be first. So seconds, let's pick it up from God Save the King. First thing to note here, it's God, long, God. Later on, it's long live the king, God save the king, long live the king. At the beginning, though, God first, then long, then God. Just circle it, okay? I have worked with choirs before and we had Glod because people weren't sure which way round it was. It's definitely God Save the King to begin with. And you notice here, alto one and alto two, you are united for the first five bars. Hallelujah. Sorry, wrong piece. And we sing. God save the King. Long live the King. God save the King. 
very bright, very fanfare like. Sing it with me. First and second altos. Three, four. God save the king. Long live the king. God save the king. And this should all please everyone be sung with heads out of copies. It's a shout of joy, an exclamation of celebration. Whereas if you've got your heads in the copies, God save the king, it's not going to have the same impact. So heads up, write something uh, to that effect in your score and don't forget to smile as well. Now, altos, this wonderful May the King Live Forever, it's an alto solo, okay? That is to say, altos on their own. And we sing, May the King Live Forever. Such a nice little line. You get it again later on, or the tenors do help you out with that second one. So sing that. And when you do, by the way, in the cathedral, again, heads up, do yourselves a favour. If you could learn the first five bars of this movement, it's not, not that difficult. If you could learn it off by heart, then you would be able to lift your heads and sing out into the cathedral. I promise you, you'll love singing in that space. It's not often you get to really belt in a fantastic big cathedral like that. So let's sing May the King Live Forever, everyone. Three, four. May the King Live Forever. Now you're going to sing all the way through to the end of that note. And I know you've got more notes to sing, but I don't want you to cut that short. Maybe just a quaver. OK, don't cut it, a, a, a crotch it short because we have to dovetail with the sopranos above. So draw a little arrow, would you please? Pointing what way? Now, hang on, that way. Pointing to the right from ever and grab a half beat before you carry on. Now, alto two, which is the lowest line here on the screen. So we've got alto two, alto one, sop. So it's this lower line. Have a listen. Okay, so it's a couple of little shapes there. So first of all, it's Amen. Sing that for me, altos, and Amen. And then Alleluia. With me. Alleluia. Let's put those together. So Amen. Alleluia. And then Alleluia. Sing for me. Alleluia. Good. And then an Amen. Full length. Amen. So the whole pattern after forever. Um, this is, uh, what is it, bar five, bar six. With me, three, four. Amen, alleluia, alleluia, amen. Excellent. Well done. Now, carrying on, we sing. Okay, now that on its own sounds a little bit odd, but you're filling in the harmonies with some really important, uh, really important chords going on. So we've just sung Amen. So the last note on the first page of the movement is a tone higher, this F sharp, second alto. So we sing ah, ah. So it's the same pitch, then up a semitone. Ah, 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 ah. Down to the D. Okay, the start of the second bar on page 20. Now we climb a fourth, and it's a it's a couple of fourths in a row. So, sing that for me. Lovely. And then simple two Gs and we finish. And. Lovely. So let's go back, please. Let's go from your Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. So after ever, let's go from the bottom of page 19, bar 6. Three, four. Enjoy leaning on that Amen at the end. Sorry, the pitch up. Amen. And then over onto the next system, it's the same thing again. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Amen. So just listen to that last little phrase. We've got the simp the recognizable just next door, and then down to the D. Amen. Alleluia. Amen. With me, please, altos after two. One, two. Amen, alleluia, amen. And full length, please. Amen. Full length notes. Well done, alto two. Fabulous. Let's go back and just run that, please. 
from the start of the movement. God save the king. That's why we're all here after all. Ready? Three, four. God save the king. Sorry, ladies. Sorry. That's uh, that's my fault. Let's try that again. Let's go for May, May the King Live Forever. I'm trying to teach too many parts at once. Three, four. May the King Live Forever. Amen, amen, lawyer, amen, lawyer, amen. Amen. And. Fabulous. So where I made a mistake, it's a good place to actually uh, to just circle that for ever. Amen. Because the soprano is coming on the fourth beat, which is where I went wrong. Don't do what I did. OK, that's a very typical conductor thing to say. Now, let's carry on. As we are in second alto mode, we will proceed and continue. Now, when the first alto is when we've got to the end of this, we'll come back and we'll look at the first alto part and a lot of what we're learning uh, will be uh, recognisable. But let us see. Second alto here. This is the top of page 21. There's a lovely little instru uh, instrumental interlude, which we'll hear in a minute. But now we become trumpets again. God save the king. Long live the king. OK, nice straightforward fourths there as the pranos going up. Okay, so with me, please. Second alto is from C. Three, four. God save the king. Long live the king. Okay, nice and strong again. God save the king. Those important words. Long live the king. Now then, down to an A. And the tenors will be singing with you at this point. We sing. May the king live forever. It's the same shape we sang earlier, just a fourth lower. Now, have a listen to this next bit, these amens. So we sing. Okay, it's a little bit angular. Let's just listen to it again. I'll sing it. So we've just sung. One more time for luck, please, altos. Two, three. Amen, amen, alleluia, alleluia, amen. That would be one to circle, all right? Just sing along with these guide tracks or whichever recording you like, but just practice that. It's a little bit, little bit unusual, and uh, fitting in with the rest of the harmony takes a little bit of getting used to, speaking of someone who's recorded all these parts. Now, we go up to the A, and if you notice, the sopranos are singing semi-quavers above. We will be singing semi-quavers shortly, um, but it's not actually anywhere near as demanding as either of the sopranos or the bass line. So we've got that to look forward to. So we sing. <laughs> Sorry, let's try that again. play it for you. It's descending fifths first. Let's sing those first three. But descend after after three. Two, three. And then man. The third at the end. Okay, good. Let's run into that, shall we? Let's go back to May the King Live Forever. Three after C. Second altos. Three, four. May the king live forever. Amen, amen, alleluia, alleluia, amen. Oh, 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 amen. Fantastic. Well done. Great job. Have a quick sip of drink. Water, preferably, but, you know, it's Friday evening. Good. Now then, we sing. May the king... carry on in a minute but let's pick that up at may the king live top of page 22 uh, it's the second bar listen to it again okay let's sing that together may the king live three four may the king live may the king live forever love 
lovely. Now, lots and lots at this point, uh, I said to the Yui singers when I was working with them the other day, at this point, you kind of become an ambulance. Forever, forever, amen, amen, alleluia, alleluia, amen. Okay, lots of nino, 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 nino. So just be ready for it. Forever, forever, amen, amen. And then, alleluia, all on the same pitch. Drop down to the D, Alleluia. and then Amen, leading into letter D. All right, let's go back to May the King Live, top of 22, and sing that whole section. Alto two still. Three, four. May the King live, may the King live forever, forever, forever. Amen, Amen, Alleluia, Alleluia, Amen. Fabulous. Now, letter D, uh, first alto. So I hope you're still here because obviously we have much to do with your part shortly. And this is a moment where you do sing together. After lots and lots of uh, of separate parts at D, you sing this bit of semiquavers together. And this is all there is. If you've sung Handel before, if you know, you know, for unto us a child is born and so on, sometimes you've got pages and pages of semiquavers. And this is neither high nor long. And it's a nice straightforward pattern. Listen to it. <laughs> That's it. So listen to it, and if you if you can sing along, and one. Amen. Let's sing it to Ma and one. Lovely. And now to Ta and one. Ta 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 Lovely. And to Ba and one. Ba 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 Now when we sing it to R, just avoid making it sound too too aggressive. We want. to breathe as I did there just snatch your breath where you need to all right so now that is the same for both alto one and alto two so later on when we're looking at alto one we don't need to go through that painstakingly but remember that this bit of rehearsal is here for you to come and look at any time you like um, now speaking of liking if you like what we do do consider hitting the thumbs up which is below uh, that gives us a like doesn't cost anything neither does subscribing you're all very welcome to come and join us here on home choir for our regular broadcasts uh, it's all free and we have a lot of fun. Now, looking on, this is the fourth bar after D, bottom of page 23. Now, this is a little bit, uh, a little bit angular. I remember singing this. It took me a couple of goes to get the recording right because you've got a tritone there. Sing that for me. And again. Sing that for me. And. And again. And. And then finishing off is quite straightforward. So it's in the second bar here on screen. The second alto. Three, four. And notice it stops being separated at the end of the Luya Amen. And that then runs together. From the start of the page, please, second alto, which is the lowest line. Three, four. Excellent. Excellent. Some people are talking about in the comments, uh, if you're singing the SATB version, I mean, yes, if you'd rather sing just the, whatever the SATB version is, you're welcome to bring that along. But bear in mind, we will be having people standing in first and second soprano, first and second tenor and so on, because I think with that many people, I mean, nearly 700 people in person, it would be a shame to not do at least six parts. OK, now, carrying on, we sing. Amen, amen. OK, so it's nice and straightforward. Amen, amen, amen. Four, one. Amen, amen. On to the next line. Okay, so let's go from the last bar of page 23, and you're doing really, really well, folks. We're about to sort of hit the point where everything uh, onwards is based on what we've already learned. So 
Let's go from the last four notes here, just to my left, and one. Amen, amen, four, one. Amen, amen. Just be ready for that one, okay? We've been moving by step for a while. The little leap will catch you out if you're not careful. And then uh, the last two bars here on screen. And so this is top of page 24 and the last two bars here. Have a listen to it. So it's one. Okay, so let's sing it. It's one. And just note the R R men is full length. Let's sing that together, please. And one. Alleluia, 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 amen. Excellent. Well done, everybody. So at this point, we sort of round the corner and the home stretch is in front of us for second altos. Uh, so we're at letter E. Now just watch out. I was saying to the sopranos, I'll say the same to the tenors and basses. It is the same music as at the opening, but the words are swapped round. At the beginning, it's God save the king, long live the king, God save the king. Here, it's long live the king, God save the king, long live the king. Make sure you put a big capital L just before your entry at E to just remind you. Otherwise, we will have le God or glod. And we want a nice, strong, long live the king. As we sing, three, four. Long live the king, God save the king. Okay, nice and strong. And of course, that is unison with first altos as well. And now we sing. May the king live, may the king live forever. So we were briefly together there, alto one and two. We have the may the king live there, at the top of page 25. But then, may the king live. So we just drop a tone. Sing for me, please. Three, four. May the king live, then up a third, forever, with me, forever. Fantastic. So let's go back to uh, May the King Live, top of 25, starting there. Three, four. May the king live, may the king live, forever. Fantastic. Now more of this lovely long A, forever. Forever. Now we'll be carrying on, but just so you know, the air on ever is two and a half beats. Forever. And then we drop a third, we sing. Amen, amen, alleluia. Okay, ambulance time again. Amen, amen, alleluia. And then. Alleluia. Sing that for me. Two, three. Alleluia. And then a nice long on the end. So just that. Amen. Let's put it together. Let's go from forever. The last bar and quaver here on screen. After four, two, three, four. Forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Amen. Good. The end is in sight. Alto two. We sing. So this is the bar before F. It, it starts off very reminiscent of that uh, opening part of the movement. But when we get on to the next line, which is the bottom of 26, just have a look. We drop down to the D and we sing Amen, Amen with me and So let's go back. So this is two bars before letter F with the quaver upbeat. Okay. So after three, two, three. Amen, amen. Well done. Well done. Not the easiest line in the world. But we climb then to uh, an F sharp. And this should be familiar because this is a direct repeat from earlier. This is the beat before F. So it's two, three. Okay, same as at the beginning. So let's sing there from the beat before F. After three, two, three. And, 
and, sorry, and then. So, Amen, Hallelujah, Amen. Listen to it again. One, two. Sing it with me. One, two. Amen, Hallelujah, Amen. Fabulous. And then, Hallelujah. It's just a little, uh, a, sort of a mixture of this pattern, and then up, down, down a fourth. So let's sing it to get, uh, together, please, from the last two notes here, just to my left. Two, three. Alleluia, amen, amen, alleluia. Take a breath. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to sing this third movement as alto two. We're then going to learn it as alto one, and then we're going to sing the whole thing twice. So this is going to be, uh, uh, it's, it is going to go on past quarter past eight. It's going to end, I should think, more about half past. And just bear in mind, if you have to go, you're all busy people. I do completely understand. Um, but this rehearsal is saved for you. The link will work for, well, f forever and ever and ever, as Handel would say. And do feel free to come back and use it whenever you like, and particularly in the run-up to Zadok. And we're going to sing the whole thing on Sunday morning here on Home Choir at 11 o'clock as part of our regular Sing Sunday broadcast. And again, that will be saved for you to watch any time you like from Sunday. So let's go back to the top. Let's sing alto two all the way through from the start of God Save the King. And then we'll learn alto one. Okay, so there's our notes. Take a nice deep breath. Altos, here we go. And... God save the king. Long live the king. God save the king. May the king live forever. Amen, alleluia, alleluia, amen. the instrumental so two bars in take a deep breath two three four God save the king Lord save the king and may the king live forever Amen, Amen, Alleluia Alleluia Amen
Okay, well done. Thanks, Alto2. And let's go back because there's still this magnificent Alto1 part, which is, to be fair, simpler. And as we go through, you'll notice actually big chunks of it are just duplicated from the Alto 2 part. So, uh, do please grab yourself a drink. How's everyone doing in the comments? Lots and lots of lovely people. One or thank you. Some very nice comments, people saying uh, uh, nice Alto sound. Well, I, I do love singing this magnificent piece. Okay, people are asking about coming along to St. George's or coming along to the cathedral. Um, I, but registration has closed for the cathedral, but there are still places to go along and sing at St. George's Concert Hall itself. Drop them a line via the St. George's Sing for the King website and then do make sure you go along there. That won't be where most of us are. There will be a big contingent at St. George's, another big contingent at Wiltshire Music Service, and, of course, hundreds of people watching around the world. All right, but uh, I'm afraid registration is closed. They have to uh, keep an eye on it, because, obviously, if everyone turns up... I mean, Bristol Cathedral is a big place, but, uh, goodness me, it might be a, a bit of a disaster if everyone comes along. So let's go from God Save the King, Alto 1... From the top, and this is obviously familiar as we sing. God save the king, long live the king, God save the king, may the king live forever. So just the same as alto two. Now, carrying on, we sing. Amen, hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Nowhere near as acrobatic as alto two. All on that power note. Let's sing after four, three. Amen, amen. Now, of course, the important note there is actually the G sharp. So make sure you lean on that for me. Okay, now going on, we sing. Uh, so it's two, three. Amen. So it's almost the same as alto two. We start on an A, which is different. They're on an F sharp. But then we join them, so it's... And then we climb. Okay. So let's sing that together, please. Let's go from uh, Amen Alleluia here, the second bar on screen. All right, after four, three, four... On to the next system. Amen, amen, hallelujah, amen. Now notice that's a G natural there, not a G sharp. We sang G sharps earlier on. That's definitely a G natural there. Okay, so let's go from the, the last two notes here on screen, the amen, which is the last two notes. Top of page 20, those of you reading along on the score, remember it's the second line down. After two, one, two, amen. Nice, strong, sturdy amen at the end. Thank you. Now, we have four bars of beautiful Handelian semiquavers, which, mercifully, I don't have to play. Uh, that's why the organist at Bristol Cathedral gets paid when he gets paid. And we will then go on and sing from letter C. And we sing first alto. God save the king, long live the king. Okay, nice and straightforward, good and strong. Sing with me, please. Alto one, three, four. God save the king, long live the king. Then we drop down an octave. May the king live forever. Now, we do carry on following that, so just make sure you've taken a big breath before you sing May the King Live. I would say at the end of that second bar after C is the place to write in something to the effect of huge breath. All right, take a massive breath. May the king live forever. Because we carry on. So from that, Amen, we sing two, three. Amen, Amen, Alleluia, Alleluia, Amen. Okay, Alto 1 is definitely the simpler part, isn't it? It's a really nice line as well. You get all the important notes. So after three, two, three. Amen, Amen, Alleluia. 
And as I said uh, earlier on when we were learning this, I said the same thing to the Sopranos. When you have a repeated note in Baroque music, don't just keep it at the same dynamic. Grow through. Because it usually means there's going to be some kind of suspension. Which indeed there is here. Now, carrying on on that A, whilst the Sopranos do their acrobatic semiquavers, we sing... G sharp will catch you out if you're slumbering, so make sure you circle it, draw a little arrow to point to it, because you've just sung G natural. Listen to that again. This is directly under the, the soprano semi quavers. So it's two, three. Okay. Get your eyebrows up, uh, eyebrows up on that one, please, everyone. Oh, oh, man. That'll just help keep it absolutely in tune. Let's sing it, please. In fact, let's go from um, let's go from "May the King Live Forever." Ready, three, four. May the King live forever. Amen, amen, alleluia, alleluia, amen. Amen. Excellent. Carrying on, we become trumpets again. May the King. There's a little bit to come in a minute, but most of that is all centred around this nice, straightforward harmony. Lots and lots of A. So from May the King Live here, top of page 22, and we're doing really well, everyone. Not too long to go. Well done. Three, four. May the King Live, May the King Now, we're carrying on. I've just stopped us there because there's a bit of a shift in tonality, a bit of a shift in harmony. We drop down to the F sharp and listen. Okay, so having sung all those A's. Forever, forever, okay, it's like taking the top of the pencil and really sharpening it. Sing that for me. Two, three. Now, do me a favour when you sing this, don't accent the ya, otherwise we'll get Alleluia. We don't want that. We want Alleluia. Make it a ya rather than a ya. Okay, we want a nice choral sound rather than the sound you get when you tread on a small dog. So I've been told. <laughs> After three, Alleluia. Ready? Two, three. Alleluia. Lovely. And then back to the F sharp. And there's another example of what I was saying. That's growing towards the suspension. Hallelujah. Amen. So grow through to that. Now, letter D. Exactly the same as when we were learning the second soprano, um, second alto, I should say. Amen. Exactly the same. If you missed that bit, it's earlier in the rehearsal. Uh, just scroll back till you see this bit on screen and we worked on it. But remember, take it slowly if you're looking to learn it. Tempo-wise, it will be slower than we're rehearsing tonight just because there's so many people. And um, if in doubt, just breathe where you need to and have fun with it. Just sing it for me one more time from D. Huge breath. And one. Amen. Lovely. Amen. Make the men slightly, uh, slightly softer there so we get... Amen, rather than Amen. Thank you. Wonderful. Now, Alleluia, Alleluia, Amen. We sing. Okay, so this is the bottom of page 23, and we have just a handful of pages to go. So it is three, four. Alleluia, Alleluia, Amen. Once more with me. Three, four. Making sure the amen at the end are nice and strong and robust. Now, keep that B in mind once we start that pattern. Because we come back. And we've been singing lots of A's. Here we're singing B. Just like the trumpet in the Hallelujah Chorus. The one that goes... So here we become the trumpet. We sing... Amen, 
and we're the only part, Altos, in the choir that sticks out. Everyone else is singing, Amen, 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 as we're holding that note. It's a really, really splendid, splendid moment for Altos. So let's sing, please, from the last bar here on screen. Amen, Amen. After one, and one. Amen. And just be careful the tied notes here. You can see the first one, this B, which is has got a little curved line which takes you onto the next bar. That means that's two and a half beats. So Amen, 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 Amen. Just be ready for that. It's slightly, it's offbeat uh, and worth practicing there. Now listen. Okay. It's a nice little pattern. The first Alleluia is Alleluia. Sing that for me. And Alleluia. Good. And then Alleluia. Sing that for me. And Alleluia. Fabulous. And then Alleluia. And Alleluia. And finally Amen. And Amen. Wonderful. So let's go back. Uh, let's go back to the Alleluia here after the long note. So this is those of you following along on the uh, on the PDF. I'm doing very very well. This is <clears throat> top of page 24, second bar, and second bar here on screen. And one. Alleluia, 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 Amen. Fabulous. Now, we arrive back at letter E. Same thing to you as I said to everyone this evening. It's long live the king at letter E rather than God save. So please write in long or capital L, whatever you need to do, so you don't sing God when everyone else is singing long. And we sing long live the king, God save the king, long live the king. Just the same as alto two and then may the king live. Exactly the same as alto two. And then we, we split apart and we sing, May the king live forever. Nice and straightforward, listen to it. Okay, after four, two, three, four. May the king live forever. Excellent, thank you very much. Now, same, uh, same as the alto two, at least for the start of this bar. So listen to that again from forever. A long note here on screen after four, three, four. Forever, amen, amen, alleluia, alleluia, amen. Good and strong on that amen, making sure it is a full length note there and it's a G natural. Okay, now carrying on we sing. This is two bars before F. After three, two, three. Amen, amen. And then carrying on. Amen, amen. So that's exactly the same as at the opening. And then the last stretch here, everyone, this epic, epic teaching session. We sing, Amen, Alleluia, Amen. Okay, so this is the second bar here on screen. Those of you watching along or using the PDF, it's the top of page 27, second bar. In fact, let's go from the, the Amen at the start of the second bar here on screen, second bar on page 27. Ready? Three, four. Amen, Amen, Alleluia, Amen. And then to the end. Again, we become uh, ambulances, police cars, whatever you want to call it. Alleluia, amen, amen, alleluia. Sing that with me, please. Two, three. Alleluia, amen, amen, alleluia. And to the end. Alleluia. And that is the Alto One part. So as promised, we're going to go back. We're going to sing God Save the King, alto one, and then we're going to have the whole thing. 
and we'll do alto one then alto two and that will be it for tonight's broadcast and if you have to go i know this is running uh, this is running longer than an hour but we've had a lot of notes to do we've not really had any time to catch our breath and whichever part you sing i really do hope you enjoy yourselves uh, when we perform this together on uh, Monday, because it's going to be a very, very special occasion. So let's go back. Let's have alto one. I need to just sneak the alto part up a bit. I turned it down when we were singing alto two. So let's, to, let's put alto two a little bit quieter. Let me just check we've got the right place. Excuse me. There it is. Okay. So back to the beginning of this movement. We'll sing it all the way through. And then Zadok twice. You lucky people. Okay. There's the note altos. Again, I'm going to sing with you, because why not? Nice deep breath, and... God save the king, long live the king. God save the king, may the king live forever. Amen, 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 Two bars here. <laughs> One, two, three, four. God save the king, Lord live the king, may the king live forever. Amen, amen, alleluia, alleluia, amen. Oh, 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 amen. May you so much everybody so that is the teaching for alto one and just to tie a lovely little bow on tonight's proceedings we are going to have zadok the priest all the way through twice once as alto one once as alto two we'll have the full introduction first time and second time i think i'll skip part of it because it is friday night and you've all worked really hard but i do want this to be saved so that you can come back tomorrow or sunday or even first thing monday morning and have a bit of revision and remember here on home choir we're going to be singing this piece tomorrow night with tenors and basses and then sunday morning 11 a.m we always have what we call sing sunday where we do nice sacred music and we're going to have a handle special including the entirety of zadok the priest in the full mix with all of the choir so you're very very welcome to come along to any and all of that and remember do like share and subscribe as they say so we're going to go from the top let's have alto one since you're you're primed and ready uh we're going to take it from the beginning now 
I'm going to press play because it's got this wonderful introduction. I'm going to talk you through this gorgeous intro. Here we go. So at this point, at the beginning, you can just enjoy this bit. And in the cathedral, you can just look around. What wonderful architecture. Here I am with hundreds and hundreds of people about to sing for our new king. And you've got ages yet, so you can just enjoy yourselves. Now, at this point, this is the point to start thinking, okay, we've got to sing at some point soon. That was part eight. Now, there's a nice little moment here where Handel takes us to the minor unexpectedly and it's absolutely beautiful and then this darker chord where's he taking us <gasps> to a minor key but this is the moment that the sun starts shining four bars before we come in now three bars now two bars First alto is three, four. Set on the priest, and with a prophet anointed
What a piece of music, everybody. And uh, as this is the fourth playthrough tonight, plus all the rehearsals, I know I'm going to be hearing this for the rest of the weekend. Well, quite right too, because uh, we've got a big, big sing coming up on Monday. Really looking forward to it. And we just have to sing this one more time. So it's all recorded for people to use as a rehearsal aid. And if you can, just stay and sing this through with me one more time. Let's do the second alto part, and then I shall bid you a fond farewell for the evening. And thank you so much for being here. From the top, I'm not going to talk over this. I might just point out the couple of moments where you do need to, uh, to be aware. But let's have this full intro without me wittering. Here we go.
Deep breath, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us tonight for that extraordinary <laughs> and rather epic alto rehearsal. And uh, I do hope you've enjoyed learning it. And remember, this broadcast is here for you to use. The link is still active. Even when I press stop on the stream, it then becomes a regular YouTube video for you to use. Well, for this project and any other time, you sing Say Dot the Priest. And if you've enjoyed us uh, and our broadcast today, well, do consider Give me that thumbs up, which is beneath the video, and please do subscribe to the channel. It costs you nothing. Uh, it helps us, puts a big smile on my face, and you never know, you're very welcome to come along and sing with us anytime you like. We do live broadcast Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and then an 11 a.m. broadcast on a Sunday, and everything is saved, so even if you can't be here live, you can catch up later. We learn all sorts of stuff here on the channel, not just Handel, but Bach as well, and Beethoven, but we also learn folk songs. We learn new pieces that you've never heard before. We learn music from all around the world, fun songs, even a bit of Gilbert and Sullivan from time to time, and, of course, sacred music on a Sunday. So I look forward to seeing you on Monday, whether it's in in person or online you're all so very welcome and we're going to have a huge amount of fun now enjoy the rest of your evening see if you can get zadot the priest out of your head if you can you're doing better than i am see you soon take care folks bye bye